cut out the commute and the stress of being on someone else's clock. Enjoy work-life balance and the freedoms that come with working from home and make the call on how to organize your schedule and in a freelance capacity, which jobs you will take and which jobs you won't take. Now, if you've got a keen eye for detail and you'd like to help an author create a successful book or help a magazine grow or maybe even make a video much better, then check out this video. It's Rowan here from lovework.home.com where we help you find freedom and work-life balance by sharing information on making extra side, extra side income, if I can even say it, find a work from home job and starting an online business. So if that sounds good to you, then hit that subscribe button and smack that bell, as I'm sure you've heard me say before if you've never seen any of my other videos. So let's dive straight into this video, which is all about work from home, remote telecommute, jobs in the editing space. This is a job for all the editors out there or soon to be editors or want to be editors. I'm going to spell out eight fantastic sites for you. The first one is Flex Jobs. I'm also going to share with you the blog where it's got a full list of these as well in just a second. So Flex Jobs, this is a great website. It's a very well known website for uh, vetting free um, flexible and remote jobs. Flex jobs actually vet the jobs to make sure that they are legit work from home, you know, decent quality jobs. So what you can do here to find the editing jobs is, one trick is to go down where it says view job categories. If you click on that, it'll take you here where we've got all these categories and down the left hand side, we've got editing as its own category. If you click on that, then this will come up, editing jobs, remote, part-time and freelance. So as you can see, there are how many jobs listed in here? In fact, this page doesn't tell you how many jobs there are listed. I'm about to show you another way to search though. But there are, what I like about this is that it's, um, it's, it's all listed by date that they've been posted. So it shows the most recent. And also it, it's got some options there for only full-time, only freelance, only flexible schedule jobs, all that sort of stuff. Another way to go about searching on flex jobs is to just type editing into the keywords up the top there. I've taken the liberty of doing editing and that has taken us to this page where it says one to 50 of almost 2000 jobs at the time of filming this video. So a stack of different jobs. Some of them go back to different dates last year, but um, yeah, as you can see, they've got 100% remote, 100% remote. If, if it doesn't say remote, then you can scroll down here where it says remote work level 100% remote you can click on that as you can see 682 jobs and they've got a whole stack of different jobs whether it's copy editing uh, I saw a video editing one a second ago just edit 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 up loads of editing jobs the second site is domainite.com now domainite deals with web design and marketing and they're often looking for editors and proofreaders and all that sort of stuff with limited to no experience now on the page here it, there's not an obvious place where it talks about careers or anything like that so what you want to do is just a google search on freelance editing job hire form or something like that from domainite.com so if you do domainite.com freelance editing job hire form something like that then it'll take you to this page or you'll be able to search and find this page at the top of the results where you can put in your details and they'll get you to do a little test here so you don't need experience but you're going to want to know a bit, a bit about editing so that you can at least pass this test so that you can continue on with the uh, the higher process with Domainite to be an editor with them. Upwork.com. Upwork.com is a fantastic freelance website. I use it frequently. What you can do, as you can see, writing here is one of the main uh, subjects or topics or area, fields of work that uh, our people are looking for freelancers on and what you can do is if you click on that writing one find quality professionals and agencies for writing then it'll take you down to here where you can uh, some of our most in-demand pros are editors this is also a good page because you can check out what people are charging uh, and where they're from and there's another page if you in fact if you go to back to the home page and say find professionals and agencies and type in editor or editing up the top there then I'll take you here as I've done editing there you can see what people are charging to see what you could be charging uh, if you list yourself on this website uh, what a, another thing you can do is instead of find professionals and agencies back on the home page you can hit um, find jobs and that way you can start to see 
you know, what's out there and what Upwork actually has. Now I've taken the liberty of punching in editing. You can also do photo editing, video editing, photo editing, more photo editing, more editing. Uh, and it comes up with, I've just done plain editing, it comes up with over 6,000 jobs at the time of filming this. And there are some filters here. Something interesting about the filters is that uh, the client history, there are, there are mo the, the most number of um, clients are ones that, well, in this checkbox area anyway, is are people who have hired 10 or more times. So that means that you know, the, you're working with people who know what they're doing and um, know what they're looking for, which is all very good, positive stuff. Most jobs are less than 30 hours per week, but they definitely do have plenty for 30 hours plus per week. Just click on that filters again, and as you can see, there's a whole stack of editing jobs. Every time you see this little yellow text, that means that that's where they've found the word editing. Uh, so they're not necessarily all jobs specifically for editing, but uh, there are definitely plenty of editing editors jobs out there. The next site that I want to show you is scriber.com. Now this is a site that helps people with proofreading and editing, plagiarism checking and citation generator. That's for um, basically for students to help them with their assignments and projects and all that sort of stuff. Now it, they've actually got themselves quite a cool little website. But if you want to know how you can join the folds of Scriber, then you go down here to the jobs. Hit that button there, which will take you to this page where they've got what looks like their CEO and maybe some staff members at the Scriber head office. If you scroll past their job openings, although feel free to have a look at them, we want the freelance jobs because we're talking about editing. So we've got a freelance editor in Dutch, German, English, and French. You can click on any one of them and get through the uh, check out their application process. The next is another freelance website, Fiverr.com. To join Fiverr.com as well, in first I'll just show you that um, if you scroll down once or t twice, it drops this little menu bar down. And as you can see, writing and translating and proofreading and editing is one of the main categories there. So now, again, if you want to do uh, proofreading and editing or just editing in that uh, thing back there in the, the search bar, then it'll take you to proofreading and editing. Or sorry, let me say that again. You scroll down a bit and explore the marketplace. Writing and translation is a topic there. So proofreading and editing. As you can see, there are a whole bunch of people um, charging all different prices for different services. So uh, you know, if, if you've got a niche that you work in or something that you do specifically, then you can go. Uh, in fact, you can search bit more specifically if you do something you know are you a video editor or are you a, an editor and copywriter or are you a I don't know whatever editor you are or you want to become then you can punch that in there and see what people are charging the next site is tckpublishing.com this is these guys started as a small publishing company about uh, 20 years ago or 10 years ago I think it was 2011 and basically they help uh, they help authors create success but they also it sounds like from their website that they pay authors a lot more so they sound like a, a good publishing company if you go to their about page as you can see down here it says um, our mission is to help our authors earn a full-time income from royalties we do this by creating a comprehensive publishing and marketing strategy unique to each book and each author they also pay their authors 50 percent royalties about six times more than the average traditional publisher pays so TCK, that doesn't matter, you're not a publisher, maybe you are. Anyway, if you uh, want a job with these guys, then you go to Contact Jobs, which will take you to this page here. Publishing Jobs, Now Hiring, What We Do, Our Values, all very good positive stuff. Current Job Openings, Non-Fiction Editor, <coughs> excuse me, that, that, that's a role. Uh, compensation, 20 to $30 per hour, that's pretty darn good if you ask me. Fiction editor job description, uh, again, very good, $20 to $30 per hour. So you can apply by hitting on those orange buttons. These, this must be the seventh and second last is Enago. So authors first, quality first. This site is all about um, helping people with their um, you know, editing and publication and medical writing, statistical analysis, all that sort of stuff. Writing services for businesses and writers. So if this company looks, uh, I find their website a little bit full on, but um, they've got plenty of jobs. So if you go up to, I think it's up here, 
go to About Us up at the top there, hit Careers, that will take you to this page here, where you can hit their current openings, that won't be auto, um, automatically checked, so hit their current openings, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a bit of a tickle in my throat, Freelance Editors, so if you are in medical or clinical sciences, what that actually means is health management, nursing, obstetrics, gynecology, uh, life sciences, so all different life sciences there. Maybe you're in arts and humanities, so law, social sciences, recreation and sports, psychology, uh, education is another one. So they've got a whole different stack of topics for freelance editors, economics and business management, phys physical sciences and engineering. So if you are an editor in any sorts of those niche niches or niches, then by all means, check this out. This could be a really good company to work for. Last, we have Guru, another freelance website. Find and hire by freelancers. As you can see, uh, you find jobs up there. If you scroll down to here, again, writing and translation is one of the main topics. So I've taken the liberty of searching for editing. If you all, it has a couple of other drop down things, editing and proofreading. Editing software, editorial consulting are different services that people are offering. I've just done editing and it's come up with 422 results. Again, you can filter and you can also filter by employee spend. Now, when you check that, check that I, just out of interest, I did that minimum 5,000 spend and it still came up with 37 results. Although that didn't uh, quite match what I was seeing down. Oh, maybe that was spent. Yeah, okay. So there are a, a stack of different results for companies or people who are spending over five thousand dollars so that could be a really good decent project to get your teeth uh, to sink your teeth into so i really hope you got something out of that uh the website where sorry if you go to loveworkathome.com we've got the blog up here where you can find the blog post where to find the best editing jobs from home and freelance editing jobs you can scroll down and find all those websites plus a few more right down here so yes hope you got something out of that if so, hit the subscribe button, smash that like button as well. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.